Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use precision alignment. We're going to learn just the basics of putting two props together. Um, I have two S props here, and if you don't know anything about precision, is everything has to be perfectly aligned before you try to move it. Say I want to move it, and if I want to put them together, they'd be stuck together like that, and we don't want that. So the trick is is to hold left shift and E. You know, get it about as straight as you can. Hold Shift and E, and it snaps it to a world angle, which is an angle that everything will snap to. You know, if you snap it that way, it'll be lined up with that one. If you go this way, it'll be snapped that way. So your props will be perfectly straight. That's rule number one. Now, for precision alignment. Looks very confusing. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, to simply move props, you would go to hit position because wherever you touch on the prop is where the crosshairs will be put. So we're going to go hit position and now you may or may not see these lines on your props here. Um, if you don't, go to your options tab, utilities somewhere in here. There we go, smart snap. You want to make sure that you have Enable for All Entities and Enable for All Tools. So if you ever can't see these on something, you know, every prop has them, you need to have those two checked. Now for precision alignment, you have two points. You have point one, which will be the master point. This will be everything that you're attaching props to. This prop should never move. Everything should always be placed to it. So I'll make this one here point one. So, wherever you want the two points to meet up is how we're going to do point one and point two. So, we can put one on the edge here. See how the, the X is red? If you hold E, it'll automatically snap into that spot. But if we put it on that edge here, we're going to need to make sure that we put it on the same edge here. That way, when they meet up together, they're flush. I mean, you don't want to go from center to right here, of course, because it's going to be sticking half the prop off the side. So, say I wanted to put it on that side, I would go from here, the very edge, to that edge right there. So, let's move. So, I'm going to hold E. I'm going to click. See how it puts a point one there? Point one is set. Oh, I said this was going to be point one. Okay, that's going to be our base prop. So point one is on the edge right here. Now we need to go and select a point two. And you can do that by point one, point two right here. You shouldn't have to mess with this one until it's time to move the prop. So point two is going to go right there. Okay, our points are lined up. Now another thing about precision is that anytime you want to move a prop, you have to select it. And how you do that is you right click on it and your prop turns blue. That tells the game that this is the prop we're working with. After that, you want to put point 2 to point 1. Like I said, you should never have to move this one over here. And then click Move Entity. Boom. They are precision aligned together, perfectly straight. Now, if you want to get rid of that blue prop, all you do is you right click on the world and it deselects it. So let's try something else. What size was that? Oh, that'll work. So I'll take and snap it straight, because you always want your props to be straight. Now you have a point two up here still. You can delete the points, you can do delete all, or you can just take the tool out again and redo position two like that. Now what I usually do is when I put two on, I'll right click it while I'm here. And then we need to come up and point, put point one back. So select point one, select point one. That one's already selected, so we're good to go from point two to point one. Move. Perfectly aligned. And that's how you put props together. This is an alignment. Very simple, very basic. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you should know. Um, there's tricks about making angles and rotations and all that stuff, but this is just a basic video. If you
you have any questions, make sure to comment. And if I miss something, I will make sure to redo this video later.